Well, we're two races down, we're on to the third, and that is the Vietnam Grand Prix. So what a start to the season we have had. Alexander Albon, the first winner, Charles, the second. We finished second in both of our races, so we're sitting P1 in the standings right now, 36 to 31, Charles. Uh, Albon with 25, Kvyat 19, Ricardo 18, and then a look at the rest of it. So our teammate Nicholas missed out on points in the first week, got himself his first career points in the second. Eight hole points, uh, but still missed out on a big opportunity, so uh, still looking for that breakout podium win, one of the two. Among the storylines, Mercedes continues to be shit. 12th and 15th for both of them. Uh, man, the, the racing points back here. And then, you know, the usual suspects, the Williams. Uh, of course, Jordan King uh, yeah, has not done too well there with the Williams. Nor neither has George. Uh, but uh, that's kind of expected. Look at that, man. Mercedes 7th uh, in the constructor's standings. That is crazy. I'm excited to see how this week goes, man. So far, we're on that uh, NASCAR best season ever pace. So uh, we'll see. As far as development goes, uh, we're murking everybody right now. It uh, doesn't seem like it really matters a whole lot, but, I mean, we've been really consistent, and, uh, and Nicholas Latifi is fucking on it. He just needs to figure out how to finish a race. But, uh, yeah, it's still uh, the usual suspects up here. Mercedes, P2, Red Bull, right on the heels in third. Renault's up in the fourth. McLaren, fifth. A nice rebound for them. They've been kind of all over the place. Ferrari's been hanging around mid-pack. Racing Point has dropped off. Alpha Tori as well. Williams up a couple of spots. Haas and then Alpha Romeo. We've got almost 4,000 resource points. Do we got enough for both of these? Not quite. We should get some resource points as uh, as we advance, so we should get enough to get both of those in at the same time. That's what we're looking for. All right, so we'll go ahead and advance. Um, we got a durability upgrade coming. Ah, I don't want to do this. I don't need it. Keep on going. <laughs> at that point, I don't give a shit about the dur the, the fucking invitationals. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, fun. All right, so we'll pop back in here, and uh, we're going to get both of these ultimate upgrades. Watch this shit. Ultimate front downforce. What was that? What was that? 1% chance failure? Oh, sweet. We'll get these guaranteed before the... Uh, oh, fuck yeah. Before uh, before China. That's perfect. This, this worked out perfect right here. Uh, let me go on over. Oops. Just come on, damn it. Fat finger. There we go. And we'll get the rear downforce upgrade. I just wanted to match them. And like that. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, that will max out the aero department. Now, if I'm slipping and sliding in any capacity, I want my fucking money back. Eat shit, everybody. Look at that fucking bar. <laughs> All right, that brings us on to this goopy-ass track. Not a fan of it. I'll be 100% honest with you. I'll probably die in some capacity. Hopefully not, but uh, don't expect a whole lot out of me here today. Uh, we're uh, we're kind of handed it on to Nicholas Latifi. Hopefully he can carry us today. The Formula One circus has arrived in Southeast Asia once more as we usher in a new era and get ready to go racing here in Vietnam. A lap of Hanoi circuit then, 3.4 miles around the Vietnamese capital. A number of the 23 corners take their inspiration from other great circuits, hopefully creating plenty of passing opportunities. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Wang. They're starting towards the back of the field today in a car that is fast, so they'll be disappointed, won't they? They'll have a sinking feeling as they look up from the cockpit and realize they're in a different postcode to the start line for sure. But the one positive they can hold on to is that the car is quick and they can make their way through the field. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Nicholas Latifi lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Albon, Bottas, Charles Leclerc and Norris, Ricardo, Joe, Verstappen and Carlos Sainz, Ocon, Gasly, Wang and Perez, Stroll, Fiat, George Russell and Nick de Vries, Magnussen, King, Giovinazzi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Well, I don't look forward to this today. This has to be the worst track on the schedule. Like, confirmed. I've, I, all right, this is, what is my fourth time here now? This shit sucks. I can't think of really any corners I like on this track. I don't, just, like, this track just fucking sucks. 
Turn one's like, all right, and then this fucking turn two, woo, merry-go-round fucking thing. Terrible. Fucking terrible. The only redeeming quality of this track is that you got some big, stupid fucking straightaways that you can just haul ass on. Other than that, the rest of the, rest of the corners are just fucking terrible. Especially the fucking whoop-de-whoop -whoop fucking shit. Like, Japan, except it's not Japan, and it's terrible, and it's just, uh, you can't see where the fuck you're going. It's just an overly narrow track, and it's fast, and it's just fucking stupid. Terrible corners. Alright, I'm done with my rant. Take a look at the race strategy. We're starting 13th today. It's just like, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Our second streak is probably, probably will go away today. Nicholas Latifi's on pole by like six tenths again, so uh, I think that's three for three for him. So hopefully he carries it, because fucking I won't, so be lucky not to die. I don't know. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, I left the driving line on. Shit! Ah! Uh, I'm not dead. 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 I'm gonna turn this driving line on. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Cool. I should have left it on, cause ah, uh, dude. Ah. Uh, that's pussy show, you know, driving line. Actually, I kind of do around here. Although, I'm going to be following cars most of the time. I always feel like I can never do this track without the line on. And then I get in the race, I'm okay. I can just kind of follow. Just, I, I don't even know, dude. It's like this setup. It's like it's built to not turn. It's so weird. I don't know. I picked some race setup from the coat, from the Steam forum shit. I don't know what the fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But <laughs> it's like it's, it has a hard time turning. It really does. I don't know. It's so weird. Aha! Full course caution. The safety car is out. Keep an eye on the Delta. We need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty. Slow down. <laughs> okay, Rip Jordan, Jordan King then. Delta. What fuck? What? They've got a serious car issue. It looks like so we're following Jordan King here, literally the last car on track. It just piles right the fuck in. <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead and done for the day. Oh my god. This is my old teammate, Jordan King, ladies and gentlemen. Smooth. Why do they ghost? That's not fair. What the fuck is that? Well, they got one pit stop. That's a Ferrari car. That'll be a spot. I don't know who that is, but we're about to find out, I guess. Um. Hold on. Charles? Alright. And we got a bunch in the back, too. Alright, well, P7, then. Hey, this fucking corner right here. What is this? And then you just, like, crank it down here. And then you fight. I don't know. I can never get it down there and then get back in the gas quick enough. Because then you just fucking pile over that curb. It's such a fucking narrow line you're trying to hit. And it's just such a stupid setup for it. I don't know if it's just because I'm, like, a NASCAR fan or what. But it's like, when you give me these long, stupid fucking corners without any banking... Oh, it fucking pisses me off. What the? What? What? Sam Latifi has significant damage from. What is happening? Now Joe has five seconds of uh, penalty. <laughs> this has been the most exciting first lap, first two laps I've ever seen. What the? F Nicholas Latifi might. I. I what is that? Three poles? And now he's probably not gonna win again. What is what has happened? I'm telling you, man. Never N Nicholas and TV is out of this. <laughs> what? Here's a look at Nicholas and TV. Again, like. I guess drops the motor or something, just pulls over and dies, I guess. I mean, uh, I don't know what the hell. Uh, car looks fine, but... Oh, there's the penalty right now. There's the penalty. <laughs> just hit him up the ass there. Good job, to Joe. All right, well, okay. Nicholas has dropped out of the race. Why? He looked fine when I passed him. Fuck. <laughs> Well, just like that, we're in sixth place. 
Alex Albon leads the two Mercedes, Lando, Ricardo. I've... Uh, I don't even know, man. Okay, well, after one of the probably... I don't even know what to call that. After that uh, stupid first couple laps, uh, here we go green again. Uh, we've already lost two cars, one of them being our teammate. Uh, well, and the other one being our old teammate. Uh, what the fuck is fucking what, what way? I'm going 80 miles an hour. What is tonk 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 tonking? Okay, love start. Oh, yeah, another fucking another series of just dumb fucking corners. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Okay! I don't know what the hell's going on behind me. Was Gas in the car behind me? I, I don't know, but he's <laughs> he's stacking away up back there. This, I just, I, dude, I can't get over this fucking section. Oh, I, it, dodge. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know what I'm doing half the time. Uh, uh. In this fucking corner, I don't know why the, the car is just not built to corner that corner. No, <laughs> oh, so when I fuck that one corner because it won't turn, I fuck the other one up because I'm, uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm all over the place. It has been a minute since I played. And of course, I had to come back to this stupid fucking track. Oh my god, I hate it. I let myself learn it the first couple seasons. And I just, I officially hate it now. It's terrible. Terrible. That's my favorite. <laughs> I love that. I love that. It grips, it honestly grips better down there. Let's take the short way around. But why, why should the AI care about that? Check your MFD for a new what the fuck is it now? Sure. Confirmed. All right, when I have DRS to enable, I'd like to go and get Ricardo. Because I fucking can't squeeze by him anywhere else around this stupid truck. Oh, come on, damn it! Oh, we got him. I think. Close enough. Overcooked it just a little bit. Okay, okay. Wasn't pretty, but, you know, who gives a shit? And we're out. Okay. Yep, could have been a little bit more smooth, but that's all right. P5 then. I'm gonna do a cool 220 down here. Jesus, Jesus, 222. Uh, on a fucking dime. I can get Lando. I don't know if I can get the Mercedes. Purple. I fucking better purple doing 222 mile an hour down in there. This section, I just, this is where I lose all my time back, though. I just, I can't get it to, to, oh, in the track. I just, I just wash every, every time I turn in. And in this corner, it's like, you either turn in and miss it, or you try to brake and woe it down and just lock up your inside left tire. Fuck that fucking corner, fuck this fucking trick, and fuck the motherfucker who ever put this one together. Was this the Abu Dhabi motherfucker? I bet it was. What's his name? I don't ever remember it. That's how fucking little I care. <laughs> Who's dying now? Oh, it's a Mercedes! Oh! Trouble! Fun! Eat shit, Mercedes! That's a spot! Everybody might just die and I'll win by default. Can we, uh, can we do that instead? I'm cool with that. What a reminder to a uh, uh, real safety car, but that's that's cool. Oh, all right, we timed it out all right. Oh, it looks like ah, uh, oh, it kind of made it to that. Co oh my, look how bad it pushes off the holy fuck! All right, well, I mean, Lewis Hamilton's that puts us up in the third. Ugh. Ah, that's it. We might get lucky today, man. I don't know. So far, so good, though. Oh, here we come. Easy pass. Easy pass. Good God almighty. Pick a lane and hold it, buddy. I don't know what the hell those downshifts were. Thanks. Woo! Jesus Christ, I'm all over the place. I was expected here, to be honest. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's see everybody. <laughs> all the fucking back markers hauling ass down the straightaway there. Oh my fucking, come on car, come on, here we go, there goes Lando. Oh, when you're ready, all 50 miles a fucking hour, holy fucking shit. 
I'll slow down enough to fucking wave, turn around and wave at the fans as I go by. Oh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this setup, but it's just a fucking nut. No. Oh. Somebody actually raced with this setup, apparently. Oh my fucking come, my fucking Christ. This might have just been a troll setup, I don't know. Said it was race setup. Oh man, I had to check and see if I had front wing damage, because I no joke, it drives like it does. Fucking hallelujah! But I gotta get as much as I can out of this car because it looks like we're on the one stopper to the end. And well, so is a couple, simple, a couple of these guys, but not all of them. Albon's already under 10 seconds. <laughs> Giving up like three seconds in about a lap, I think. I just, ah, uh, fucking nothing I can do. This is the worst thing I've ever driven, I think, in my life. I don't get it. Ah, uh, here we come. Oh my god, I'm just. I do you think I'd give a shit? Fucking Christ. I gave up like three seconds in one lap, I think, to Albon. That's just like nothing I can do. I, I look at these tires. That's another thing. We're just shredding tires for some unknown reason. I don't know. It just doesn't stick. It's just like, it, it gets to the point now where it's like, we got so many fucking upgrades. It's like, I don't It's like we've maxed the ability to make this thing handle. Because we're like four seasons in. How many fucking upgrades we got? This thing still drives like a piece go, of go, shit. Go. Half of everywhere we go, like this track included. I should be breezing through these fucking mad nimble as chassis should be. Ugh. I don't know why this is so bad. Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's a mother. F you better keep that shit down there, buddy. Alright, we still came out fourth. We're just a fucking mile behind. No, oh, yeah, see what you got, buddy. Yep, alright. That's what I thought. Ah, 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 ah. No. 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 Well, I'll be lucky if I make it through this half of the race without fucking murdering my tires again. I think that's what it is. I did something with the setup, which is... I noticed it too when I was doing the practice program. He locked it up too. Oh my god. Nice move. Good job. Thanks! Yeah, that was an all-star move right there. Yep. The only reason why I didn't lose my front wing there is because he locked it up too and didn't get an opportunity to chop me. Oh my god. It is comical how bad it is. I'm just sitting there trying to womp womp womp, picking up the gas, trying to get it to fucking turn. Doesn't turn. The sad part about this is, it's like, I'm actually really not doing too bad. It's just like, like I've, I've probably said this a lot of times, where like the car was probably the worst. This is the worst car, worst setup, worst everything I've ever driven. I don't get it. If it was just rem anywhere close to better, I'd probably be winning. I don't know. And it looks like I'm still going to have a chance at P2 because I think Albon's going to be pitting one more time. I just... And let me be clear, I'm not very good at this track either. I don't know this track very well. So obviously, I'm at a disadvantage there, but holy shit, I'm not asking for the car to do a whole lot. I just wanted to be able to get through some of these corners at higher than 50 miles an hour. That's the whole field pits behind me. All right. So Albon is hit pit road. That leaves me and Lewis Hamilton. Oh, brother. Oh, we got 10 laps to catch Lewis on fresher mediums. I'm not catching him very fast, I'll tell you that. If I get my head out of my ass, we get my fucking the car's head out of its ass. Might be able to catch him. Hold on, Lewis Hamilton just fucking hit pit road for some unknown reason. Oh my god. I thought he's going to the end! What are you doing, Lewis? Okay. It's all up to me then. I gotta hold off. Fucking Albon. Oh my god. Okay. I fucking locked up the tire so damn bad looking at Lewis hitting pit road. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold him off or not. I mean, I'm fast enough on the straights. I'd like to think so. I'm literally just using the fucking curbs to turn. If you've watched any of my F1 career mode videos at all, you know this is serious. If I'm using the curbs, all of them to turn, this is not good. 
Lose ammo with the fastest lap. Expected. I could see him catching catching up nine seconds and fucking however many laps we got left. Albon's down under two seconds. I really don't want him to get her, get to DRS, but oh, he's gonna get to DRS before this thing's all said and done. All right, well here we go. It gets a little bit easier once he's kind of on my ass. I kind of really know where to defend and where not to. When to go, when not to. That's one of them times you want to go. Then just save all your stuff for the straightaway because it's, it's going to be impossible to get around anywhere else, just about, so. Uh, you ain't going nowhere, buddy. Unless I fuck it, which I probably will. But I'm pretty good at defending, I'd say. Gonna be the tough to defend on this motherfucking straightaway, I'll tell you that. Oh, he's already There's got a run. I right, have to let her rip. That's the thing, I don't have a lot of fuel. I was hammering and trying to catch Lewis Hamilton before the end of this thing. Oh, not today. Not today. Not yet. Lewis Hamilton's down to two and a half seconds on those fresh sauce. That goes, I, I don't know if I could say how fucking slow I am, how fast he is. He's not even that fast, really. I think it just goes to show how slow I am. I'm a triad! I'm about to fucking run out of everything here in a minute. Uh, I don't know. Can I defend the top again? I think so. Oh, boy. Clear! No, man, I about fucked it there. Buses are gonna be parked. Maybe Lewis and Albon here will get to fighting. I just can't. I can't fucking turn. Through here? I can't do it! I can't do it! Uh, it's like I got a flat tire or something. It handles, handles something like that. Oh, brother. They might have a go here. Oh, we're parking his shit. We're parking his shit. He can't figure out how to get around me. That's his problem. Come on, Lewis. Work him. Cool, I don't have to use a whole lot of overtake here. Oh man, I'm bad out of fuel though for this main, main long ass straight. I gotta get through here fast. Try to put a little extra room on him. Woo-wee! Try to get it up to speed. Save as much DRS as I can here and then hit it when the fucking, all right. I don't think I need to use that fuel. I'm gonna have to use all that fuel for the last lap. All right, back it down, back it down. They're not getting there. Oh boy. Can't keep even get into the corner anymore. This fucking, there's just no grip at all. All right, no mistakes. I like to make mistakes, it's not big ones. Ugh. Oh, there, there was, there's a good one right there. I was afraid to get the wall there. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Come on, for the love of God. Yeah, I still almost hit the wall. Alright, there we go. Final lap of the race. Nice and easy. No. No. Nice and easy. Launch. Have to rely on overtake getting the job done here because I ain't using that fuel. I need it. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Rip, rip me. I'm gonna lose it here on the last straightaway. Maybe not! Hold on! Come on, damn it! Let me put Lewis Hamilton around. Here we go! It's gonna be close! Oh, no. Oh, no. God, oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna be killed. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Come on. I don't think it's actually too killed. 
Trying to find out on this right-hander. No, I mean, it could be worse. I've had worse. Fuck it, I can't turn that one. Sorry, buddy. Oh, man. I rem oh. Come on, turn, turn, please. Please, please. <gasps> oh, oh, eat my ass, Lewis! Ah! Fuck this stupid fucking trick! Fuck ya! Yeah! Jesus Christ! What a finish! Woo! Oh my, I thought I was gonna be killed. I, I lost my breaking point. That was the first time I defended down there, so I lost my breaking point off in that really long straightaway. So I full locked into the corner, and Albon didn't really have anywhere to go. And out, I think Lewis even overdrove it. He just had a really flat entry off in there. Oh man, I should have pulled back over. That was my only mistake there. I don't know if I was clear or not, but don't matter. Won the race. Don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. A lot of extra things had to happen, but we'll take it. I can't believe Lewis Hamilton made that pit stop there on the mediums. I can't believe Book Taz blew up. I can't believe he had all that shit happen. Latifi. Oh, man. Whatever the fuck that was. That's my new podium uh, boop to do there. All right. Yeah. First victory of the season. Feels good, man, after two second place finishes. This is my second win of this stupid fucking track. <laughs> That's that's a, that's incredible in itself, really. Well, what a race! Thirteenth to first, one stopper. Uh, we've pulled off a lot of dumb races. That's definitely up there for sure. I that's, I still cannot believe a lot of things about that race. Um, the fact that we won with probably the worst setup I think I've ever had in my life. I don't know what the fuck. I I, I don't know what the fuck. I, I'm gonna quit trying to figure out what the fuck, because I just don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with the car, the setup. I don't know if this is a track thing. I don't know. Terrible. Lewis Hamilton, P2. Almost one of the greatest comebacks we've ever seen in the last 10 laps there. Uh, coming down for fresh tires and just hauling the fucking mail. And, and made it back. Um, but just a little bit too short there as we all piled off in the fucking corner. Albon, man, probably should have had it, but, uh, P3 for him. Solid season continues. Uh, Gasly, Ricardo, Norris, Charles, Sainz, Perez, Ocon rounds out your top 10. Uh, another poor day for Max Verstappen in the Ferrari. Joe with the five second penalty ended up serving that, but, uh, kind of ruined his day there with front wing damage in the penalty. Um, Russell, hey, George Russell, P15, nice. Uh, DeVries up a couple spots, all right. Giovinazzi, same. Uh, and then the DNFs, Botas, Latifi, Jordan King. There you have it. Hello. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're hmm. pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'd say so. I'm not so happy. No, it was not. No, it was not. I'm not sure what happened out there, to be honest with me. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think I hit any of the walls, though, did I? I was struggling for grip. This isn't the best track for this car. Yeah, we'll go. For, we'll go with that one. Appreciate your time. Well, then that brings us to China. Look at the updated point standings. I like it. Albon P2, Charles third, Ricardo fourth, Hamilton fifth, Latifi still holding on to his eight points. I dude, this is an incredible start. So like, either Latifi is just gonna eat shit the rest of the season. Or there probably will be a point where Latifi wins, like, eight weeks in a row by, like, ten seconds each. Because, like, he's got the potential, right? He's got the car. It just keeps on dying. <laughs> I don't know. Three weeks in, Botas only has one point. That is fucking wild. And there's a look at the rest of it. Well, the craziness continues. Once again, we're on to China. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, not exactly what I expected, but a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. But, uh, but yeah, appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.